friend, my name is Doombim and today we're going to be talking about Player.me. I was recently picked by the site's staff to be one of 30 ambassadors, and I was going to wait to make this video until I got, you know, the swag in the mail that they're sending me, but I got too excited, so, you know, here's a nice K-pop shirt. Imagine scrolling through a Facebook or Twitter feed, but instead of seeing boring posts about the Kardashians or Ryan Gosling eating cereal, in other words, instead of seeing stuff that you don't care about, imagine seeing a community where people are posting about setting up raids together or just the general current events in gaming. That's what Player.me is. It's a social media platform created by gamers for gamers. And it's an all-inclusive community where gamers can just come together and chat idly about really whatever they want. There are multiple ways to filter what you see and what you don't see. At the very top of the page, you see three icons. The player.me icon, the YouTube icon, and the icon for Twitch. If you have all three of them highlighted, you'll essentially see every single post that gets put on the main feed. You'll see when members upload a video to YouTube, when they start streaming, as well as normal text posts. If you're not interested in seeing a bunch of videos, you can click on the YouTube icon to filter it out. If you want your feed to be more personal, you can go to the following tab so you only see your posts and the posts of the people you're following. If you're more interested in seeing if anyone you're following is streaming, you can click on the streaming tab and check. Because there's so much activity on the main page, there will probably be a post every now and then that you'll want to save to come back to later. There's a little thumbtack on each post that you can click on and that pins the post for you. Later, you can go to your pinned tab and voila. Newsfeed aside, let's talk about the personal side of Player.me. On your profile, you can see who is following you and who you're following. You can like games, upload photos, join groups, and look through posts. You can also add different accounts to your profile, such as your Xbox Live and Steam profiles. That means other members can find you and send friend requests, so we can all hang outside of the website. But there is also the option of cross-posting. If you connect your YouTube and Twitch accounts, then Player.me will automatically cross-post those for you so you don't need to go around advertising yourself on the main page. You can also do this in reverse with Twitter and Facebook so you can share your player posts on those sites. Something that I found really fun is how you can change your notification sounds. In your settings, there are the usual notification options, but you can choose notification and messages sounds that vary from generic dings to chocobo chirping to Navi greeting you. Another feature that feels unique to Player.me is how you can tag what game you're currently playing when you make a post. I think my favorite feature though is how members can vote for what is applied to the site. If you scroll to the bottom of the site, you can find the Feature Vote page, which is full of features that have been submitted by both staff and members. Members can vote on the features they want to see next, and the staff works to assimilate it into the site. This means that Player.me is constantly improving upon itself for the members. As for the ambassador thing I mentioned earlier, try not to read too much into that. I do have a referral link in the description, but all that does is it makes me look better as an ambassador. I don't get anything if you join through the referral link. I don't get paid. This is not a sponsored video. I don't get a pony for having the next amount of people join. It's just... My job as an ambassador is to reach out to the Friend Alliance, which if you're new here, that's you guys, and just the gaming community in general to let people know that this site just exists. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope this was informative without being too in-depth and hopefully you guys will come to player.me with me because I've actually been a member of this site pretty much since, it, like, soon after it launched. I was one of the first 30,000 members, if that tells you anything. Um, I am a lot more active there than I am on Facebook and Twitter, and I'm pretty active on Twitter, we all know this. So, anyways, if you want, like I said, refer a link in the description. Otherwise, I will see you guys later. Bye! Then I use some glue to strengthen the edges so they don't rip or anything. If you're really worried about it ripping, use an eyelet kit instead. Then pull out a ton of rope, separate it into fourths, and then take two pieces to twist.